Okay, so I am reading 11 o'clock on the dot, so we will go ahead and get started. Uh, I do notice that some other attendees are, are trickling in now. Uh, I want to cover a, a couple of pieces of logistics uh, and then introduce the crew uh, who's on today, and then we will jump into today's session. Uh, this webinar will be recorded, and the recording will be made available to all of the attendees and registrants shortly after the webinar closes. Uh, there is a Q&A section as a part of today's session. So if you have questions, you can find the Q&A panel uh, that is part of the Zoom interface and enter your questions there. My name is Jared Johnson. I'm a senior technology evangelist with CData Software, and I am your host and MC for today's session. I am also joined by Ankit Singh and Bhavan Chala, who are both solutions engineers with CData Software, who are going to be helping me out in the chat, helping me out uh, in the Q&A. Uh, so uh, Without further ado, we will get started. All right, so with the logistics out of the way, we are ready to jump into today's session. This is the CData Coffee Break real-time bi-directional access to Snowflake from Power Apps, uh, one of our uh, weekly Coffee Break series. Uh, this is intended to be a 15-minute session where we are going to demonstrate how easy it is to connect to Snowflake from CData Connect Cloud and then build a simple business app in Microsoft Power Apps that has bi-directional connectivity to that Snowflake data. Before we get into the demo, I do want to introduce the company, the product that we'll be using, uh, and the use case that we'll be describing. For anyone that isn't familiar, CData Software is the real-time data connectivity company. Our self-service data products and connectivity solutions provide universal access to live data from hundreds of popular on-premises and cloud applications. Uh, we're enabling millions of users across the globe uh, to empower their analytics, to boost cloud adoption, to streamline their own operations, and generally create a more connected business. Uh, so our applications and platforms and connectivity solutions are usable by any user, uh, accessible from any application, and built for all enterprises. Uh, so with all of that, CData is uh, truly redefining what it means to be a data-driven business. The product for that we'll be demonstrating today is CData Connect Cloud. Uh, it is a real-time connectivity service providing next-generation data virtualization uh, that generally grants live access to data from more than 100 enterprise data sources, and that includes Snowflake data warehouses. Because it lives in the cloud, there's no software to install or drivers to configure. Uh, because it provides a universal interface for data, it's gonna work with all of the data applications that you're using, whether that's ETL, BI analytics, no code or low code, or even uh, full software development frameworks. Uh, it provides real-time data connectivity, so we're not caching or storing the data. And as I said, it provides universal access to data through common interfaces. Uh, C Data Connect Cloud can look like SQL Server in the cloud, can provide an OData interface or a REST interface for your data sources, no matter where they are. In today's session, we're going to be talking about C Data Connect Cloud and Microsoft Power Apps, providing real-time bidirectional access to data from these business apps. Microsoft Power Apps allows you to build business applications pretty quickly using a, a generally low-code platform. Uh, these business apps can then be distributed within your organization uh, to put data access in the hands of your frontline users, your field representatives, uh, and more. Uh, through the pairing of CData Connect Cloud and Power Apps, you're going to get real-time access to data, as described by CData Connect Cloud. You're going to get bi-directional access, so CData Connect Cloud provides read and write access to data. Uh, directly from the business applications that you create in Microsoft Power Apps. Uh, and generally, the, the use case here is that it's going to empower field reps, uh, your frontline agents, uh, to be able to focus on their tasks and their roles that help drive your business. Uh, they don't need to worry about talking to data sources, about uh, calling up IT to get access to the data that they need. Uh, they simply use the business apps that your teams have built uh, on the tablets or, or consoles or even phones. Uh, that they have in their hands to get access to the data that they need. And that could be reading the data to see a list or writing the data to make updates. In today's demo, we're going to talk about uh, building an app uh, that helps uh, a restaurant to view, update, or add new uh, reservations to uh, a restaurant list. Uh, so with that, we will jump into the demo. Okay, so to get started, we want to take a look at the data as it sits um, in Snowflake. So we can see here that I'm in my Snowflake instance. Um, I have uh, my demo warehouse, my demo database, uh, my restaurant schema, and the reservations table within the restaurant schema. We can see here that I have selected 
uh, the data and we can see that I have 25 reservations, each with an ID, a name, uh, the size of the party, and then the time that the reservation is for. The goal here is gonna be to create a business app that has access to this data uh, and, and allows our, our maybe front of house staff or, or somebody on the phone to be able to update a reservation to make a new reservation or even delete a reservation uh, directly from the business app that is built in Power Apps. So before we can talk to Snowflake through uh, Power Apps, we need to create our connection in C Data Connect Cloud. So we will log into our C Data Connect Cloud instance. I'll just start generally on the overview page. It gives you an idea of uh, where uh, the data is being uh, connected from. Uh, the different connections that we have available, the number of queries that we're making. But to create a new connection to a new data source, uh, we'll simply go to the connections page and click add connection. We can find the data source that we're looking for, and then we'll fill in fields uh, that would be associated with providing connectivity to this platform from any other application. So in the case of Snowflake, we need to know the URL uh, for the Snowflake account, we need to know the warehouse, we need to know a username, password, and an auth scheme. And then optionally, uh, you can set the database and schema to narrow the scope of this particular connection as needed. Uh, in this case, I already have the connection pre-configured, so we'll just take a look at it there. Um, so we're going to connect to our, um, our, our partner instance, that demo warehouse that I mentioned before, the demo database and the restaurant schema using my username and password. So if I make a quick change here, I'll be able to save and test. This is authenticating using all of the information that I used to connect to Snowflake. Uh, we've seen the data in Snowflake. We can actually check the data in our uh, CData Connect Cloud interface as well. So we can come in here. We can see the different schemas available, the reservations table. Uh, we get the same metadata that we saw in the Snowflake interface. And when I click Execute, it's going to query. Uh, and we're going to get those 25 results, those 25 reservations that are available uh, paged in 10 pages. So we've got our connection. Uh, we, we have our data in Snowflake, so it's time to build a Power App. So we'll log into Microsoft Power Apps. And we're going to click Create. Uh, and we're going to create uh, Start from SQL Data Source. Uh, with a three screen app. So this is going to have a list view, a detail view, and an edit view uh, within our app. So we'll just wait for the interface to load. Uh, and we're actually going to create a new connection to a SQL Server interface. Um, so we know that we want SQL Server authentication. Uh, and it's asking for particular values here. These values can be found from Connect Cloud. So we can go back, we can go to the client tools, uh, and we can search for Power Apps. And we, if we click on connect, then a modal is going to pop up with the information that we need. So I'm going to copy this server address uh, and plop it in here. The database name is going to be the name of the connection that I created. So in this case, it's Snowflake Coffee Break. The username is going to be my CData Connect Cloud username. And then the password is going to be a personal access token, or PAT. We can see that uh, I need to create one. So I'll create a new personal access token in the CData Connect Cloud interface. Um, so we'll make a brand new one. This is going to be the Snowflake Coffee Break personal access token. We'll create it. Uh, this is like uh, generally any other API token, access token. Uh, it is copied here. Uh, available one time and then from there on you'll need to store it securely in order to be able to use it in the future. So with all of that information entered into the system we are ready to click create. So we will just click create uh, and this is going to connect to our um, CData Connect Cloud instance, and because the limitations are there for the schema, I'm only going to be able to access the restaurants table. So we'll click Connect, and at this point, Microsoft Power Apps is doing its thing. It's querying the data uh, that resides in that Snowflake data warehouse through CData Connect Cloud, and then it's using its own intelligence to try to build an app uh, that would be useful based on the information that it finds, based on the apps that other people have built. Um, so this step can take a little bit of time.
All right, so what we can see here is that the system is generating a three-page app that gives us uh, read and write access to our um, reservations uh, directly from Power Apps uh, connecting through Connect Cloud to our Snowflake instance. So we can see here that we have the Browse screen, which just provides us a list of the uh, reservations. So I can make some edits here if I wanted to lay the layout, change the layout. Um, I could, uh, we could do this. So we could actually hit everything here. Um, so we're going to change the layout of the list so that it provides a title. Yep. Uh, and then it's copying all three pieces here, but we can change. Uh, which field is being used uh, in each of these options. So instead of using name, we are going to use uh, the party size here. Um, or actually, let's just do this. Let's get rid of one of those and let's just do the time here. So we'll just do time uh, and then we'll come back here. We'll click this one and we can get rid of this so this will just give us a list of okay. I messed that up let's just reset yep all right so um just change the layout so this will give the name and the time for their reservation um, and then on the detail screen, we can get more information. So this gives us the ID, the name, the size of the party, and the time. And then on the edit screen, we can actually update these. Um, so we have access to all of those reservations that we saw in Snowflake, and now we have a basic app that can update these. So uh, let's just save the work that we've done here. This is our Snowflake Coffee Break app. Um, and then, so once it saves, we can preview the app and get an idea of how the interface actually works. So uh, we can preview the app, we can scroll, so we can see that I'm getting all of those reservations. If I wanted to, I could come in and see the details for Alexander's reservation. He has a party size of seven and a reservation at 5 p.m. I could delete this reservation or I could edit it. So let's say I just heard from uh, Alexander and he actually needs to reduce his party size to four. We'll leave all of the other information the same. Uh, so we'll click this checkbox and that's going to send the update information back to Snowflake through CData Connect Cloud. Um, and so we can see that the party size has been updated to four. Um, if I go back to the list view, um, I can see all of those reservations there, but then the proof is in the pudding here. So we can query this again. Um, and so we just need to find Alexander Garcia and we can see that the party size was indeed updated to four. So at this point, um, we have created a very basic app that provides read and write access to our Snowflake data uh, through CData Connect Cloud from Microsoft Power Apps. Uh, at this point, you could deploy this app to your enterprise systems, uh, deploy it in such a way that your uh, field reps and your frontline uh, users are, are going to have access to the data that they need uh, directly from the palm of their hand, uh, from the tablet, from the workstation that they're working on. Uh, and all of that access is going to be curated uh, through the connectivity that's enabled through CD to Connect Cloud. So with the demo portion out of the way, we are going to actually jump into the questions. And so we'll get started. All right, great. So we've got some questions coming in already. Uh, I will get through the ones that have been asked so far. Um, and then as I'm getting through these, if you have any other questions uh, about CData Connect, about its integration with Power Apps, please put those in the Q&A uh, panel that's part of the Zoom interface. Um, all right, so uh, the first question that came in, uh, this is one that we get a lot too, is you know, how much does it cost? So our preliminary pricing information uh, is available on our website. If you go to cdata.com slash cloud slash pricing, uh, you can find information there. Uh, we do have a free trial. Um, and so Onkit has dropped the link into the free trial. Um, if you have specific pricing questions, you can contact our sales team uh, and they'll be able to hop on a quick call with you um, to ask you some questions about your specific environment, your use case, uh, and, and get everything 
set up there. Um, how many organizations can I use this with? Uh, so the number of organizations that you can use CData Connect Cloud with is going to be determined by your subscription. Uh, so uh, whether you know you're using it internally for a small team or you need to use it across your entire organization, it's going to change how the pricing works there. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, how do I get a free trial? Um, so Ankit already dropped the link into that section uh, into the chat there. So you should be able to see that. Um, the cloud.cdata.com slash auth slash sign up initial is going to be the place to go to get that answered. Um, all right, so I'm watching the clock. I do want to honor our commitment to a 15 minute session. So I'm just going to throw some next steps links up on the page if you have questions, um, continue to put those in the Q&A panel, uh, and we will stick around for a little bit to get through them. Um, if you want to learn more generally about CData Cloud, uh, you can go to cdata.com slash cloud, uh, free trial, again, cloud.cdata.com. And any questions that you have can go to sales at cdata.com. Uh, we have business development reps that sit on that inbox that are watching it that will be able to answer most of your general questions and be able to get you quickly routed to our technical support team if you have any technical questions about the product or if you're encountering any issues with the product. So um, I think that's going to wrap us up. Uh, thanks everyone for attending. Thanks Ankit and Bobin for uh, handling the Q&A. Uh, and uh, we will see everyone at the next webinar.